As you may or may not know, I collect art in a modest way, usually prints, woodcuts, etchings, that sort of thing, occasionally canvases. But I've never bought a piece of sculpture. And, but recently I went out and I did buy a piece of sculpture, a small bronze. And let me show you. This is it. This is a piece called the Frog Prince. And it's by a lady called Fiona Smith. Now Fiona Smith is a British woman. Can you see this now? She is a British woman who, uh, who came to Ireland a few years ago. She set up a studio here. She lives, I think, somewhere down the country, perhaps in a, an old farmhouse or something. I don't know. But she's a very good sculptor or sculptress, sculptress, if there is such a thing. And uh, she does a lot of birds, sculptures of birds. Very good. She's reasonably well known. But um, I saw this piece by her, the frog prints, in a gallery, the Trinity Gallery here in Dublin. And it's a place I pass a couple of days a week. And a few months ago, I think four or five months ago, I first saw this in the window. And let me get back to this. Yes, I saw it in the window and I liked it, but the price was a bit, well, for me it was a bit expensive. And so, yes, as I say, it was a bit expensive for me. So I didn't buy it, but I kept looking at it. I kept being drawn back to it. And I would go onto the website of the gallery to look at an image of this. I really liked it, but the price, as I say, was a bit, for a small sculpture, you know, for a small, this is very, very heavy, for a small bronze sculpture, well, it was expensive. But, um, oh yes. Eventually, anyhow, I bought it because uh, I really like it and I found out the hard way over the years. You know, when you're buying art, you, you should never, you should buy whatever it is you like regardless of the price. Well, obviously, there's a limit to what you can pay. There's a limit to what the money you actually have. But even if something is a bit too expensive for you, if you really like a work of art and it's good, buy it. Now, sometimes you might go to a gallery or an auction and you'll see a painting you really like that's really good, let's say, let's say a painting, but you can't quite afford it. Maybe you have the money, but you don't want to spend that much money. So you see maybe another painting, perhaps by the same artist, perhaps a little smaller, not quite as good, and you can afford that. So you buy that. Now this of course is a mistake because if you buy a painting or a piece of sculpture or a piece of art that isn't quite right, that really isn't that good, then every time you look at it you'll be reminded of the fact that it's second best. On the other hand, if you buy something, even if it is quite expensive for you, if it's beyond your budget really, and that if it's a really good work of art that you like, you have it for the rest of your life. You know, and you can, it will give you pleasure every day of your life. And in that sense, it'll work out the cheapest thing you ever bought. But anyhow, I was looking at this, the price was putting me off, putting me off, and eventually a few days ago, a week, 10 days ago, two weeks ago, I went in and I bought it. And I have it now sitting, I have it sitting beside my racket player and 
I don't know how long I have left on this mortar coil, but uh, if I live another five years or ten years, it will give me pleasure every single day. Now, this was my latest art purchase, but not quite. A few days ago, I bought another piece of art, and this I bought from my local charity shop. Now, this is a, an oil painting on board, and the man in this painting, his name is Jimmy O'Dee, He's a very well-known, old, older Irish actor. Uh, he was, he featured in a lot of pantomimes, so. and um, very well-known here in Ireland, very respected. And I know a person named Keating uh, has painted him. Uh, anyhow, Anyhow, it's, it's an interesting painting, and he was an interesting man, and he was highly thought of in the artistic community. And several really good artists have painted him. There's a painting of him in, I think it might be the Safe Gallery, one of the big galleries in England. But anyhow, it's not a great work of art, it's not outstanding, but it was quite cheap, it was 50 euros. And it's a, it's not a bad painting. It's not a masterpiece, it's not a great work of art. But it's not bad and I'm very happy with it and it's very interesting. So, this, uh, the frog fence, what was this, uh, the frog fence, I'm very, very happy with that. It's the first piece of sculpture, as I said, ever bought. It's bronze and, uh, you know, if you want to kill your granny, if you have an old granny around the place who's annoying you, hit her with this and that'll be bye-bye granny. It's very heavy, very heavy. But uh, now this is in real life, on the screen, this actually looks very, very green, not very attractive. In real life, it's it's a much lighter colour and there's slight variations, which are very nice. But uh, yes, that will give me pleasure every day. But um, that's all I wanted to say. My two latest acquisitions, two latest additions to my collection. <laughs> But uh, no money spent on art. If it's a reasonably decent, decent art, it's uh, it's money well spent. So, the Frog Prince, Fiona Smith. Uh, there you are.